Uganda vase sona eko ala sewa nyana losia sana sona eko sebi nyama. The two MPs attended court via video link from Chigo prison as their lawyers pushed for the third time to get them temporary freedom. The defense legal team led by Arias Lukwago had told court that the MPs are suffering grave illnesses which include hypertension and complication of the kidney and liver which cannot be effectively managed inside the prison. This claim had been contested by the state's lawyers. Today, the state withdrew objections to the MP's bail application and concentrated on conditions for bail. The Director of Public Prosecutions has power to issue a certificate of no objection to bail under the law, and that is the Trial on Indictments Act. A certificate of no objection to bail is one of the exceptional circumstances to the grant of bail under the law. The Director of Public Prosecutions considered the illnesses of the members of Parliament and the fact that the witnesses had been secured. After the break, the judge granted each MP 20 million shillings cash bail while their sureties would execute a non-cash bail of 50 million shillings each. The sureties are Masaka City Mayor Florence Namayanja, Wandegay Award Councillor Thomas Bagonza, Kalungu East MP, Joseph Seungu and former Lubaga North MP Moses Kasibante. The applicants are raised on a cash bail of 20 million Uganda shillings. The two MPs were also ordered to deposit their passports in court, report to the Registry of International Crimes Division of the High Court once a month, and not interfere with state witnesses. Segirin and Sewanyana were arrested in September 2021 in relation to several murders in Luengo and Masaka districts said to have been carried out by panga wielding gangs. We hope they are going to expedite the processes so that we get to take them out of jail and then particularly the Honorable Alan Sewanyana to get a medical checkup and see exactly, diagnose exactly what the problem is get treatment as soon as practicable. We have secured orders before, they have been invariably defied. So it's sad for our country that a person can decide to keep you in prison when he knows there's nothing to pin you and you are there until he feels that now you should be left free. And I hope when their lives, their broken bodies are restored, they will have, they will summon the energy to confront um, the charges against them in court and they have no doubt that these balloon charges against them collapse uh, along the way. Their relatives would not control their emotions after the ruling. How amazing it is one of the happiest days in my life after a period of more than one and a half years when my husband has been in detention. More than a week ago, the Chief Justice Alfonso Winjdolo announced that the trial of the two MPs will begin not later than end of April. They were charged with terrorism, murder, attempted murder, and aiding and abetting terrorism, and remanded along six others who have never applied for bail.